So there's the unified bridge, which means that all L1 and L2 native assets that are in the Aglair ecosystem are locked in the same contracts. So all L2s that uh, that opt into the Aglair to have this shared deposit contract that saves us from or saves them from uh, having to submit an L1 transaction every time we do uh, asset movement or asset transfer across chains. Um, and so the the interesting thing with the with the async case is like we so so we have asset fungibility and we also really want low latency interop. So uh, right now, like uh, if you want to uh, move assets between L2s, even if you have a shared bridge, um, there's still this uh, like heavy latency penalty because let's say that I'm on uh, rollup A and I want to move my ETH to rollup B. Um, in order for rollup B to accept the message that's, that transfers assets uh, from rollup A to rollup B, it has to have a guarantee that rollup A's state is finalized. Otherwise, rollup A could equivocate. It could create two blocks, one of which has a transfer to rollup B, one of which doesn't. And it could submit the, the block with the transfer to rollup B to rollup B, and it could submit the block without the transfer to rollup B to Ethereum to be settled uh, on Ethereum. In the case in which, um, in which we have to wait for finality on Ethereum, that's a really bad user experience, right? Because we have this like 12 to 19 minute latency delay for, for that block to be finalized. So instead, what we can do in the ag layer is rollup B can declare that it has this dependency on some state of rollup A. So I can say, okay, I, I've received this state of rollup A that includes a message telling me to mint uh, a bunch of ETH and give it to this user. But uh, like I'm going to, via the ag layer, guarantee that my rollup, rollup B, can only be settled to Ethereum if this state of rollup A is settled. And so if rollup A equivocates, uh, rollup B would just have delayed settlement until it reorgs the transaction from rollup A out of, uh, out of its history. And so, um, so there's this potential for, like, like we're, we're basically prioritizing safety over liveness. And so there's this potential where if uh, the operator of a chain misbehaves or acts maliciously, um, se settlement of rollup B could be delayed. Uh, but fundamentally, this is a necessary trade-off for us to provide super low latency interrupt. Okay. I, I, I think I understand the value proposition. What kind of is missing for me in, in my head is how do you ensure the security and integrity of that ag layer? So kind of where does it check in or does it have collateral somewhere or how does it guarantee all this? Yeah, so it, it proves it cryptographically with a zero knowledge proof. So so like w what's happening is uh, L2s are submitting blocks to the ag layer and the ag layer is proving to Ethereum that all of these properties hold. So the shared bridge is protected and safe um, and uh, chains are interoperating in a way that's consistent and, and no one's behaving maliciously. And so it's aggregating all of the validity proofs from every single chain and also these additional proofs that guarantee these safety properties. And it's submitting all of this to Ethereum. And so that's where, where settlement happens. 